Hello, this is Siddharth Damber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. If you're receiving this message, it's because you are one of our autoimmune patients who's on a immunosuppressant medication. And I want to connect with you guys at this time because of everything that's going on in the world right now. So with the current coronavirus, COVID-19 outbreak, I think it's important that uh, I am connected with you guys to let you know what's going on and how you need to be thinking about your treatment and your condition. Um, there's a lot of noise and messaging out there right now. It's kind of overwhelming for, I think, a lot of people. And I think it's important to get some straight facts and understanding as to what you need to do to take care of your health in the best way possible. So, um, you know, I, I first and foremost, let me say that um, we are here for any uh, issues that you guys may have call, email, or text us. While we are doing most of our medical work right now via tele telemedicine, if you absolutely need to be seen in clinic, we are still available for that. We're preferring to do most things remotely via either phone, Skype, or other digital means, mainly because we're really trying to reduce the risk of um, uh, infection for our patients, as well as exposure to uh, the rest of the team in my clinic as well. So uh, with that said, um, in terms of what you need to know about your immunosuppressive medication and the coronavirus. So the reality is that this is very new and very fast moving at this point in terms of the news and what we're learning and all that about the virus. But here's what we know based on physicians from around the world. So one of the downfalls of current traditional media and social media is that there's just too much information sometimes. But the flip side is because of social media, we're able to stay in contact with a lot of our colleagues from everywhere, so everywhere else in the world. So from the rest of the world, we are not getting the message that being on the medications that our patients are on, the immunosuppressive medications, is putting people at the risk of worse consequences if they get exposed to the virus. That means you are okay and still safe to continue these medications. The American College of Rheumatology, which is the largest rheumatology-driven organization around the world, has sent us multiple messages that the current understanding is that if you have a controlled autoimmune condition that's on medication, continue the medication. And the reason why is because number one, the data, the evidence is not saying that that's gonna lead to worse consequences. Number two, we know that an out of control immune system leads to other kinds of side effects and problems. Moreover, it can make you more prone to infection if the immune system's out of control as well. Furthermore, if you end up having to take high dose prednisone because the immune system is out of control, that makes it more complicated and can make infections a more problematic issue. So absolutely continue taking your medication. In addition, if you are receiving an infusion treatment in my clinic, understand that we are still open for this. This is considered an essential and important medical treatment. So we are absolutely still open and treating patients because that's the right thing to do. Um, some things to keep in mind in terms of when you come to the clinic. Number one, if you have a fever, you gotta let us know beforehand. Let us know when you get here, but preferably before you get here because that would preclude you from getting treatment. Um, if you have any other kind of infectious symptoms, let us know beforehand as well. We need to um, kind of risk assess that before your treatment. Uh, in addition, understand here are the things that we're doing from a safety standpoint in the office to protect you guys as well as to protect um, us in the clinic. Number one, um, we are obsessively cleaning everything, obviously. I mean, we're, we're kind of borderline obsessive about that in general, but now we're really kind of um, taking it to the next level, absolutely, to protect you guys. Number two, we are purposefully limiting the number of people coming to the office right now. And what I mean by that is we have significantly reduced the number of patients that we're seeing in clinic. Again, trying to manage most of the things that we're doing via telemedicine, telehealth. That's important because it reduces the risk of being exposed to someone who could be sick. In addition, for my own team, um, we are purposely rotating people in and out so that we have less staff in the office as well. Partly just to reduce the number of people to again reduce that risk. Partly just because I think with the overwhelming amount of stress and negativity out there right now, I, I think for everybody, it's important to be able to disconnect a little bit at this time. Um, lastly, um, understand that we are here to help. 
All right. In this kind of critical time, this is when you need to count on um, those of us that are here committed to your health and your well-being. So if you have any issue that is pertinent to what we can help you out with, absolutely contact us. Um, we are here to connect and help, all right? And again, whether that's telemedicine, digital, phone, email, let us know. If you have any questions, concerns, please let me know. This is an evolving situation. Expect to get some additional messages from me every now and then over the next several weeks. Um, in addition, keep in mind that I am updating our blog on the website, chicagoarthritis.com, more regularly with information. And if you want to keep up with um, information in that regard, that's a good way to do it as well. Hope you guys are doing well. Be safe, be healthy. Any problems, let me know. Have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.